Let's take a look at some tactile switches. These are really cool components um, that are very useful in electronic projects. There are two primary types of tactile switches. One of them is always on and then when you push the little button um, it goes to a momentary off state. And the other type that I have here, they are off and when you push the button it goes to a momentary on state. So I'll show you in just a second um, what that looks like, but before we do that I'm going to show you a, a few different types of tactile switches. This one is from Radio Shack. I started using these but found that the connection pins on the back um, were very weak and often would fall off while trying to solder to them. They're also very small pins so it was nearly impossible to solder any wire onto those. So I got these from DigiKey and have been very happy with them. They're about 40 cents a piece. Um, these yellow push button switches have a model number of B3F1102 and they've got very long legs at the bottom, easy to solder uh, to and have a grounding leg that I often use to stabilize the component when I'm connecting it up to a project. So when you're soldering together the tactile switch it's important to test it out on breadboard first because the connection is made um, from one side to the other. So if you connect it up or solder incorrectly, if you solder this leg and this leg to your circuit, it's always going to be on because this side is connected and uh, this side is also connected. So when you push the button, it connects the two sides. And it's important to make sure you understand which of the legs to solder to for your tactile switch because in some occasions I've soldered them in and had it be an always on connection and had to um, unsolder and kind of reconnect the component. And these components are, are not super easy to um, get wire connected to, so it's important to test it out first and ensure you know which of the legs you want to connect. But once you know that, um, you can connect it up either to your breadboard or solder it into a project and you can momentarily ground the, uh, in this case, the third leg of the seven color LED and change the color of the LED every time the tactile switch is pressed. So they're very useful components. I use them all the time in my projects. I've uh, been really happy with this tactile switch from DigiKey and would highly recommend it um, to anybody else out there who needs something like this.